your topic. All right, topic number four. Dealing with loss. Yes. How do you deal with loss? Uh, well, I've only lost one grandparent, and I haven't really lost any friends. I haven't really lost any other family. I put it, my cat down after like 15 years. That was pretty shitty. I was like upset literally for like a day. And it, cause I had another cat at the, I had the black <laughs> one I have now and it kind of like helped me like cope with it. And then that was really it, yeah. man. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. see, like I've, I've only lost two grandparents and I wasn't really close with them. Yeah. But I feel like this, the, the other set of grandparents that I have That's on my gonna hurt. dad's side. Yes. That one is something cause like they've lived at my house when I used to live there. And then I go back and visit them when I go back, right? So like that, because like they're they're old now; they're in their nineties. It's it's an it's any a, day so, thing. It's a matter of time. Yeah. At that point, right? That one, yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna cope with it because I really haven't lost anyone really, really, really close to me. It's like weird, it hasn't man. really happened. Some people take it like a lot harder. It's. A- it's it's screwed up because it's a combination of like emotions, but also being realistic. Like you know, everything comes to an end. Yeah. And you understand it's part of life. And yeah, sometimes it's not fair if someone goes early. But if you're like ninety and ninety five and you go, I mean, like it's shitty. You're really upset, but you can't expect them to be around forever. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not. They're ninety five. They've 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 lived their life. It's the same. It's the same. And as I think they, I think they've. I think like 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 they just they know it's gonna happen at some point too. It's it... the people around that make it worse, in my opinion. Oh yeah, because people are losing their mind and they're making you feel bad. And, yeah. It's just like they knew it was gonna be their time soon. It's just. Can you imagine being? I think it's. I think it's kind of like I don't know how I'd feel. Like right now, I think it's scary to think about dying. Like I don't want to die, but. When you're 90, like, every night you go to bed, you just think, like, this is it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you're, like, in your 80s, and you're, like, this might be the night. <laughs> like, you know, even if you're feeling good, that old it's like, heart's beaten. I got to take it one hour at a time. <laughs> yeah, that, that your heart's had four billion beats already, man. It might be, that might be it. Like, realistically, like, you probably don't think about that, but it's a ma- Dude, you and me can go to bed tonight and not wake up. Yeah. But I'm not thinking about that now because we're only like 25, 26, 27, 28. We're not, you know, it's not supposed to happen now. Yeah. No, but, I know what you mean. Yeah. But if I'm like 80 and I'm like, you know, maybe had a few health. Because even if you keep good health, when you're like 80, things just don't work like they used to, right? Yeah. 90 and 85. Everything just starts slowing down. Yeah. It's I, just... think I, I think I actually literally might like go to bed every night and be like shit man this might this might be the night <laughs> that it just it just doesn't happen i just don't wake up i, I think you're good that's the best way to go i think just go to sleep well yeah that's probably the most peaceful way to go i don't think it's gonna happen for any of us though we're all gonna there's too many diseases and shit we're all gonna get cancer and heart heart attacks high blood pressure we're all toast man i think our generation <laughs> i think we're going back in time we have medicine but i think medicine only helps us so much. I think we're going to be like the cave people where like 40 was like a long life. I think we're going to be like 60, 65, 70, 75. That's it. You really jumped a lot of age brackets. Yeah. 60, 65, 70, 70 75, 80, 80 85, 90. And your death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I see. I can't like, I thought this topic would be interesting because like we both haven't really lost, lost, lost anybody. Kind of like that's really close to us. Yeah. Right? Like a parent or a family, a brother or sister. Kind of thing. Yeah. So it's like what we would think, like what we would go through. You know what's fucked, man? I know a few people who are parents and they have lost both their kids before they died. That's yeah. That's got to be the tough one, man. Yeah. Because like, the parents usually want the... want They want to be gone before the, yeah. before the kids do, yeah. The, and... Dude, that's like uh, I don't know. Every time I hear about like teenagers and stuff dying, it's like, man, like I'm sad, but in a sense, I feel like more shitty for the parent. Like that's fucked up. Can you imagine having to like, you know, go to the funeral for your like 14 year old kid? It's like, oh, that's not right. You can't Bur- go back yeah, burying your own kid. Yeah, you can't go back and never when you're another one. You're 50 now, right? Like it doesn't work yeah. anymore. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Yeah, 
sometimes dealing with loss also is just like, damn, I broke my iPhone screen. That's hard sometimes. Right? No? <laughs> oh, you're a terrible person. I, know. <laughs> I just I had to lighten the mood a little bit. Yeah. What a great way to end the show, guys. Yeah. If you break your iPhone, you're allowed to cry. You're, yeah, you're allowed to feel remorse. Oh, God. Well, yeah, not man. really remorse. I, don't, I hope I don't have to deal with that shit for a while. No, oh, we won't. I don't think so. You know what? The, you know what happens, man. When it one happens, it steamrolls. Have you ever noticed that? Like, when I've had, we've had like family friends that passed away or whatever. It's like one person passes away, and a couple months later, someone else goes, and then someone else goes, and then someone else goes, and then someone. It's goes usually sick. the couples, though. It's it's the couples. So if like the husband or the wife passes away, and then if they're old, I'm saying yeah, if they're yeah, old, yeah. then it's usually the spouse that passes away because like. There's like, all right, well. Bro- Dude, there's a real thing. It's, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically broken heart syndrome. You can actually die of a broken heart. It's a Am real I thing. flickering? Uh, yeah, it's like your lights are having a seizure. Oh, it lights stopped. Them. Oh, it's back. Oh, it stopped. Dude, it's, it's, it's that earthquake. Get up high, man. <laughs> or it's, um, there's a ghost in here. Yeah, that could be true. We'll go back and pause. It's just like some devil girl standing there. Exactly. That's it, man. No more podcasts like sharing the screen with you as they come through to my house. That's literally it's like it's like the ring, dude. Like I'm not even I'm not even shitting you. If I woke up in the middle of the night and I walked outside, and my furniture was floating in the fucking air. I would never step foot in this house again. I don't give a fuck about anything in this house. And I just uh, swore twice. I'm trying not to swear. I would not come back for a single thing. I'd leave my cat here. I would yell for Carrie as I'm running out the door like a little girl. <laughs> That is like my le- legitimate worst nightmare. I can't. D- I don't like aliens, but I think if an alien was in my house, I'd be like, oh, okay, whatever. That's kind of cool. But if ghost, man, no, no, thanks, man. Oh, that's funny. See you later. <laughs> so hopefully no one dies in my house. See, it deals so with my loss. So, so my next topic is going to be about ghosts. Ghosts are. I don't think ghosts are real. No. Aliens are real, though. Yes. They might not be little green men, but they're real. Very true. Okay. All right, let's close it out. Um, you can follow me at Hard Farmer everywhere: Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Snapchat. Blah, 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 blah. YouTube, you're Hard Farmer on YouTube. Oh, not on YouTube. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can follow Dean at Maximum Dean everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I don't really use Snapchat much. I just like watching other people's snaps. You kind of you kind of live through it like vicariously, yeah, like yeah, everybody yeah. else, right? Yeah. I know what you mean. My day's not exciting enough to snap for shit. I might just snap, t- your, snap your cat. Ugh. And take a picture of the cat and just, like, throws up. Uh, you can follow the show on YouTube. If you type in Max McCrassy Show, where we upload four days a week and the final thing on Friday. We're on iTunes, SoundCloud, uh, Reddit. You can find us on Reddit. I don't know. Leave a review. Yay! All that fun shit. Okay. At it. Right it. Till next time. Later, guys.